Welcome back everybody. So this week we're going to look at the CIC Centurion 275 vinyl sealer versus the Exalta 680 vinyl sealer. And what we're going to try to determine is if there's any appreciable difference by lowering the haps and the VOC levels. Let's get to it. Hey guys. So what we're looking at today is the Centurion 275 and the Exalta. Um, and this was from the previous test um, that I did on an unsanded surface. So I don't know where my sanded surface was. I think I shot something over the, the side of it. But we're going to look at a crosshatch, uh, the kind of mar resistance, and then our lacquer thinner denatured alcohol and acetone. And what I want to see is, is if lowering the VOCs and HAPS actually makes a difference. There's a lot of guys out there that say, oh, all this stuff isn't what it used to be, which I will say that is probably true. But I also uh, want to see if, you know, some of these companies have, you know, adjusted for that, okay? All right, so one thing I can tell you about this sealer is it doesn't stick to duct tape, all right? So it's no good sticking to duct tape. I don't know why you would need to stick it to duct tape, but don't do it because it doesn't stick. <clears throat> okay, so as we did the last time, this is on a, a UV uh, plywood, which nothing likes to stick to that stuff. So let's look at the crosshatch on the CIC. Um, this is uh, non-sanded and then this is sanded. Let's look and see what we get. All right, let's look at the sanded. Get a good corner there. Excellent, excellent. <clears throat> okay, if we look so at these two cross hatches here, um, I actually think that the CIC is a little bit better. It just doesn't have as much tear out around those little edges there as the um, other one does. See, you know, you got a little bit right in here. Um, so I'm gonna give the edge to the uh, CIC on that one on an unsanded surface. Okay, we're gonna start off with the lacquer thinner and we're gonna do our 10 rub sequence, the famous 10 rubs. 10. Let's look at the denatured alcohol. And let's look at the acetone. As far as the chemical resistance goes on these, the CIC did better on the lacquer thinner um, than the Exalta, but Interestingly enough, the Exalta did a little bit better on the denatured alcohol than the CIC. The acetone, they both were no good on both of those. It, you know, it killed those, which is typical for um, lacquers. Lacquers don't like acetone, um, pre-cat lacquers and nitro lacquers. So let's look at a quarter scratch on the um, unsanded on the CIC. All right, pretty much exactly the same as the um, <clears throat> Exalta and then our nail. Yeah, I just cut right through it. All right, so let's take a look at it on the sanded surface. Okay, so let's look at the mar resistance on the sanded surface. So we've got our quarter, just denning the wood. And then our nail punch, same there. Um, so that's that's about similar to the Exalta. All right, so what's my final thoughts on this experiment? Well, I think that we kind of proved that, um, I know a lot of guys say that they feel like they've taken the good haps and they've lowered the VOC stuff and it's not as good as the higher VOC stuff, but I think that this experiment kind of proves the opposite, that it's 
the lower VOC stuff for some of you guys out in California is just as good as what we're getting in some of the places where we can shoot a higher VOC. I want to point out with the uh, 275 Centurion that is a negative um, that is different from the higher VOC stuff is it wants to fall out of solution more, uh, meaning that when you open the can you have to mix it up to get the pigments and stuff mixed up. Um, I noticed that when I was filling my gun up, I'd have to mix it real good. And then when I come back again to pour some more in, I'd have to mix it again. Now I did talk with a guy in California and he said that that is one of the issues with the 275 stuff. And they use agitators out there all the time, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, so I would say if you're looking for a lower VOC, lower smell uh, vinyl sealer, that is going to give you the same durability and chemical resistance as a higher VOC product, I think you should give the uh, Centurion 275 a try. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next week. Thanks. <laughs>